More than a few people suggested that I watch The Princess, which is basically medieval diehard with Bruce Willis played by Joey King. So I did. How can I put this gently but honestly? I didn't feel like I was watching a movie but I don't mean that as a compliment. I'm Jill Bearup and my area of enthusiasm is stage combat, which is to say theatrical violence in all of its forms. And I will tell you this, The Princess is absolutely a film you should watch if you are at all interested in screen combat because it does a lot of things really well. There's a but coming, but let's focus on the positives first, okay? The first lesson you will learn from The Princess is that it is entirely possible to have a lot of different fights which are nonetheless reasonably distinct from each other, even if they mostly involve the same kind of characters. You have the princess, and maybe a friend, and she's fighting some dudes. Or a dude. Or possibly a lady, but mostly it's some dudes. And they manage to do something different in all of the fights by switching up the weapons, the environment, all of the things that you can find in that environment, etc. This is to the film's credit, because there are a lot of fights in this 90 minute film. The second lesson you can take from The Princess is that it is entirely possible to stage a fight for film that is readable and coherent and interesting to your audience. One thing I particularly liked is when the camera moves with Joey King's centre, so we follow the princess through the moves rather than just being static outside observers. That was very nice. I like that. I would like to see more of that. The third lesson is that you can absolutely have a small woman beat down large numbers of dudes and have it feel justified. In this film, the princess does a fair amount of punching of men, but this very rarely does more than just slow them down. Almost every takedown in death uses a weapon, either improvised from around her or an actual weapon, or uses the environment to her advantage. I was genuinely impressed that there were a couple of times that there was a sword clash and the princess was just thrown back by the superior size and weight of her opponent. And you feel like she's earned the victories more when she's taking advantage of her smaller size and her agility and using all of the weapons available to her in order to win the fights. It also helps that in story these men are probably not supposed to kill her and they probably know that. The fourth lesson is that you cannot slice through plate armour with a sword! Exactly how vulnerable one's underarms would be with a full hauberk on is perhaps another question, but you know what? I appreciate when people make the effort, and they made the effort to show that plate armour is actually very tough and you can't just slash your way through it with a sword. Points for that. The fifth lesson is that your costuming can be a demonstration of your character's practicality as well as looking cool. She starts in a ridiculously poofy, flowy-sleeved wedding dress, which she gradually rips and tears to make more manageable, to bind up wounds, and to use as a weapon. She gets a sword belt and some sensible boots fairly early on, and near the end she gets some armour, which is... I mean, it's okay, you know what, you do you. The point is that they make the effort to show her progression down the tower and towards her goal, both in terms of what her costume looks like, how bedraggled she is, and how injured she is. You should definitely watch The Princess if you are interested in choreographing fights which take the physicality of the characters into account and make really good use of their environment. But. Basically, as a movie, it's like someone mashed together a fight reel with a video game with a Tumblr post about a self-rescuing princess. That is the depth of backstory and world building that we have here. And so it doesn't feel like a movie, it feels like the skeleton of a movie. The world they inhabit feels very fairy tale, but in a very generic kind of way. And you could get away with that generic feel if it were an actual fairy tale and it was in a book where there were only a few pictures, or perhaps if this was a children's movie, but in a world with this level of blood and injury detail, we're expecting some more world building detail, you know? Maybe a touch more coherent backstory detail wouldn't go amiss either. I mean, is this our world? I guess? I mean, it has a Christian priest in it, I think. It seems vaguely medieval inspired. And nobody seems to have any magic powers other than the magic power of not dying of infection after you've been stabbed and then waded through a sewer. If there's a sixth lesson here, it's that cool fights don't necessarily make a movie that I'm actually going to want to watch more than once. The reason I like The Princess Bride or Pirates of the Caribbean is that they give me characters to root for. The Princess is a movie that gives me a single character to root for, and she's not really so much a character as she is an archetype. There's some vague flashback stuff about her training to fight and her history and how true warrior's strength comes from the heart or something, but really it's a it's a fairly flimsy skeleton onto which they're hanging all of these fights. And the fights do look great, but if you've been here any length of time you're probably sick of hearing me saying that fights are there to serve the story. And the story is, at least for my taste, 
a little bit thin on the ground. I'd rather have a compelling story and fights which look like the swords weigh as much as toddlers and you hope. <clears throat> than fights which look awesome but don't have a story to add to. Your fights should do some of the work of character building, but they cannot do all of the work of character building, and these ones are having to try. The most accurate summation I can give you is this. I feel the same way about the fights in The Princess now as I did when I saw each of them as individual clips in the trailers. Wow, these look great. Very creatively put together, well shot, occasionally amusing. But I watch films mainly for the characters and the story and the payoffs which come from that. You may not, and that's okay too. But for most people, if having the full context of the film doesn't improve or change in any way how they view the fights, then I would suggest that perhaps you have built your castle on sand. Pun fully intended. For some fights I like rather better, check next to my face.